Hi guys, this is iTackers, um, a new dev team that decided that we want to be in the develop. We want to be in the iPhone dev team world too. So, I here today I'm going to introduce you to i3.1.3. Now, I don't know if this will actually work with the official 3.1.2 current firmware file. So if it does then think that's nice tell me in the description so I can take it and say in it within a notion and on my website that 3.1.2 works too but this is a tutorial so I don't know if mine and the official works I just know I used i3.1.3 okay so now let's start off by to, I'm not going to demonstrate it but you'll understand what I'm talking about so, I'm going to turn my iPod off. And when it, it's now the wheels turning off. Now, you want to download the file in the description called i3.1.3. Like I said, I don't know if 3.1.2 firmware file works because I've not tried it. I just played around with the 3.1.3 kernel and I could come out with this i3.1.3. So, and it'll up downgrade to 3.1.2 for you. I don't like I said again. I don't know if it works with 3.1.2, so tell me in the comments, please. Now, to get in the recovery mode, you want to hold the home button, and then plug in your USB cord. And now you're in recovery mode iTunes now open up iTunes if iTunes don't automatically open and then iTunes will ask you um, if you want to if you want to restore if you want to, sorry excuse me let me get in here close this black rain thing because that's demonstration for later now to do this you want to I'm gonna have to turn this off because I accidentally jailbroke it <laughs> with black ring. Now let me get it back into recovery mode. Now to what you wanna do is you want to this is so you can jailbreak it with black ring. Um instead of using the stupid loophole because that was kind of a lot of trouble for me. Cydia crashed too many times, my sources deleted. Um, so, what I'm going to demonstrate is i3.1.3 like I said. Well, I've done told you so it doesn't matter. Now, once you get in recovery mode, iTunes will ask you to restore. You navigate, you press shift, and then hold shift, and then press restore. And after you do that, and then it'll start extracting the firmware file and all that. After it installs, it'll say failed to install. Now this is the important part, guys, where you need to listen. When you get to that point where it just crashes and says unable to install, it'll boot up to the recovery screen. You want to open up BlackRain from BlackRain.com with I, instead of an I one. I'll leave a link in the description. Download it and then run it. You need to use Black Rain to boot it. See? Black Rain's booting after you downgrade. Like I said, it'll say failed. And it's not failed. Just Apple just doesn't want you to downgrade. And this is actually a simple, usable tool from GeoHot. So it's partly GeoHot's. I'm going to give partial credit to Geohot because he made the jailbreak. And like I said, there's no other reason you, I mean, it shouldn't bother you to jailbreak your iPod with re black rain because what other reason would you want to use downgrade? Now, it will downgrade to 3.1.2 so you can jailbreak break with, instead of using the loophole with red snow. You can use instead so city don't crash and stuff. You want to use 
um, 3.1.2 where it's guaranteed to jailbreak. Now your modem firmware will not um, your modem firmware will not downgrade so that you'll be stuck without an unlock, unlock but now open up black rain now to oh hold on I'm getting ahead of myself now settings to fix your network problem now after you boot up with black rain you shouldn't boot up to a recovery um, you shouldn't boot up with an activation screen you should boot up straight to your iPod now um, to help if your network settings crash you want to I mean mess up a lot you want to say go to reset and general um, and then go into settings general and then reset and then reset network settings and it'll come up to all of this and to change your boot screen and stuff you can still use red snow it's just you need to use black rain to boot it or you can do it an alternate way now just black rain is really an easy tool to boot with so I'm just gonna unplug my iPod from the computer and after it restores the network settings it'll reboot and now you're at your lock screen unlock it your settings will be alright and then you want to check off it'll say loading available installers install I don't have an internet connection connected right now so guys enjoy i3.1.3 all links will be in the description thanks please rate five stars please check out our website it will also be in the description thank you